Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you another morning session of your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your own home. Please join me. I just begin the prayers, but you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns, your walk with God, your relationship with God, not mine. I, I, it has nothing to do with me. Each of us are separate individuals, God's children, and God's working with each of us in our own separate capacities, our own gifts. We each have different gifts being given to us by God. So this is a wonderful method of concentrating God's communication with each of us. God will put something in our hearts. God will give us something to think about. It will always be there every day if we just pray every day. That's the key. People have forgotten how to pray. And it's just every day, heartfelt concerns opened up to God. So we'll begin with my, my prayer. Beloved God, I thank you for this wonderful, wonderful method of prayer of each of us. Praying our heartfelt concerns out to you, each of us healing our bodies while we heal our minds, our spirits, and our souls through prayer. Thank the generations that have brought this method of prayer to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, father Joseph, and from Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga. So anybody in the world can practice this ancient method of prayer any way they want, any time they want. I thank you for this blessing, God, these blessings. Amen. Now, if you'll repeat after me, we'll do the Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day. to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. In service to you, your love, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of all fears. As I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings. these moments that I can share with my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with your love, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Um. Now, we're going to try to clear our energy fields, is what it's called, but what we're really doing is clearing our minds of distractions, of daily worries and fears, so that we can pray and love God. Fear prevents us from being able to love. So we must purify ourselves of fear to even be able to love God and love others. So this is a, a motion with our right arm. We hold it up at the 12 o'clock position. We let it fall over to the right side. 
the three o'clock position, the right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position, and back up to the 12 o'clock position. As we do this motion, repeat after me. Beloved God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Om. Now we begin the prayers and each of them I'll begin them by saying and here our prayers begin with <clears throat> and that means repeat after me the short little beginning and then finish it with your prayers your heartfelt concerns what you're worried about what your walk with God is that's how prayer works trying for somebody trying to tell you to say these magic words no no that's not prayer prayer is opening your heart to God every day and God will bless you so much you'll have no idea what couldn't possibly have happened so we we do this um, we're going to ask God how may we serve you this day aloud and and always in the prayers um, we tone at the end the word om uh, and we do it together and when we ask God, how, how may, when I ask God, how may I serve you this day, the answer comes to me in just one or two words, short phrase, something real minor. Always comes to me in morning prayer, though. No matter what, I learn something every single day that I pray. God's a teacher. God loves me, protects me. So here, we take our right hands over our hearts, and our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Om. Now we're going to stand up and announce what came to us out loud. So here we stand straight and tall, arms at our sides, palms forward, and our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Om. Now we're going to sing the word Amen three times. This is how an oath was sealed in Aramaic, which is Jesus' tongue, his, 
his native tongue. So here, saying the word, we're going to sing it instead of say it, and we're going to sing it any tune you want to sing, whatever's right for you, any tone, any pitch, any way you want to do it. Sing Amen three times. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to sit back down on the mat, lay down on our backs, get into what's called resting position, which is our legs outstretched, our feet at our sides. I mean, our legs outstretched, our arms at our sides. So here we begin with pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we take our right foot over to our left thigh. Our right knee falls down to the mat. Our right arm goes straight up above our heads, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Om. Now we switch hands, taking our right foot in our right hand, holding it down near our pelvis. Our left arm gets extended straight above our heads this time, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot, point it towards the heavens, 
holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we let our right foot fall out to the right side of our bodies, leg extended, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides from our chest down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our right leg, point it up towards the heavens, Extend it over to the left side of our bodies, down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for... Um. Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we take our left foot and hold it with our right hand over on our right thigh. Let our left knee fall down to the mat. Our left arm gets extended straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we switch hands, taking our 
left foot in our left hand, right hand goes straight above our head, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for. Um. Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens. Here our prayers begin with God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for all. Now we let our left foot fall out to the left side of our bodies, extending our leg out to the left, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out from our shoulders down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for Now we turn our heads to the left and our left foot, we take it up towards the 12 o'clock position, up towards the heavens, and then over to the right side of our bodies, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for all. Now we go back to resting position arms at our sides, and we're going to, for a second time, try to remove our fears from our minds because they prevent our ability to love. This time, we're going to just say that we surrender them to God and then list the fears. So here we take our hands under our sit bones, lean forward on our elbows, trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender into your love my fears of
Now we go back to resting position and we reach for the heavens with our left hand. Let it fall over to the right side of our bodies, stretching our left shoulder, left back. Take our right hand halfway between our left shoulder left and left elbow, stretch it over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I choose to Um. Now we Take and reach for the heavens with our right hand. Let it fall over to the left side of our bodies. And we hold our, stretching our right shoulder and back, we hold our right arm halfway between our shoulder and elbow with our left hand, pulling it over farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I can. Oh. Now we go back to resting position, pull both of our feet up to our pelvis, soles of our feet down on the mat. And then we let our knees fall out to the outside, down to the mat. This forms a tabernacle below our bodies. We form a second tabernacle above our hearts by taking our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two thirds of the way up to the heavens. And a tabernacle is a house of God. So in this house of God, right above our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice brimming over, bubbling over with any possible gift that we could ever desire, want, or need to use in service to God's love. It's important to understand if we decide and get greedy and want to use them in service to our own personal enrichment, our own personal glorification, and then they'll be taken away. You'll lose them. They're used only to serve God's love and bring it, God's love to the, everybody and the whole, every living creature. So here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of
Now we take our hands in prayer position, still right, right at the tops of our heads, down to the mat, our elbows fall out to the sides. This forms a tabernacle, a house of God over our entire bodies. And so here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, my soul. Um. Now we take our hands, we're going to start the anointing series. Our hands are always kept in prayer position and we, we move them to different positions on, on our body. Um. We begin by taking our thumbs up to our foreheads, hands in prayer position. And what we're doing this time is it's a series of four prayers. We'll repeat them twice, but they're very, very, very important. They are prayers that acknowledge God's gifts to us, allow us to thank God for these gifts, and allow us to fill our bodies, minds, spirits, and souls with these gifts. So here we take our thumbs up to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless, and I'll only use them in service to your love, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of um, Now the fourth Prayer is we move do a motion with our hands in prayer position this time. We point them down into our abdomens, extend them out to right above our pelvis at the three o'clock position on the arms of a clock. Then we go counterclockwise up to the heavens, the 12 o'clock position, then down 
to the mat above our heads at the nine o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Om. Now we do the second in the series. We do the same four prayers, thumbs to our foreheads, and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with. God, I bless and I will only use them serving your love, your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position and our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um. Now we point our fingers down into our abdomens, extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Oh, 
Now we go back to resting position when we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, <clears throat> over our heart. And here our prayers begin with, God, I thank you for always protecting me and for always keeping me safe. Um. Now we roll over on our sides, push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands. Here we extend our right leg straight out in front of us. We take our left foot across our right knee. We hold our left knee with our right arm. Our left arm goes behind our backs for support, twisting our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the left. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I desire to Um. <clears throat> now we extend our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. Uh, we hold our right knee with our left arm. Right arm goes behind our backs for support. We twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the right. And here our prayers begin with. God, through your love, I will. Um. Now we're going to get up on our knees. Get in our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for
Now we form a tabernacle with our hands, putting the tips of our first fingers together and the tips of our thumbs together. We put this tabernacle down on the mat and we lean over and we'll put our foreheads into this tabernacle, this house of God. And we're just going to take a moment and feel God's love all around us. Feel God's love penetrating our bodies. God is always there. God's love surrounds us throughout the whole world. And we're just going to feel it and know it and be thankful for it. Um. Now we go back to sitting position and we extend our right leg out to the right side, our left foot up into the inside of our right thigh. And here our prayers begin with, God, through your love, I will become. Um. Now we extend our left leg out to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with. God, through your love, I am. Um. Now we go back to sitting position and we sit up straight and tall. We put our hands on our knees or touch our thumbs to our middle two fingers, forming tabernacles with both hands. 
Sitting straight and tall, we bow forward at our pelvis, and our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my mind, my body, my spirit, and my soul. Om. Now we sit up straight and tall and bow a second time at our pelvis, keeping our back straight. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to your love, O oh God, as my true father, as my true mother, as the one, the oneness. Om. Now we sit straight and tall once again, and we feel where we're grounded down to the mat on the left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light. God's love, God's nurturing, God's healing light. We feel God's white light entering our legs all the way to the tips of our toes. We feel God's white light coming up through our abdomens, filling every cell and every organ. God's love, God's white light enters our hearts and comes up into our lungs with every breath, refreshing God's love, breathing it in, pumping it to our bodies, through our hearts. God's white light of love comes up, fills our arms to the tips of our fingers, fills our throats and our minds with God's love, and it goes out the tops of our heads like this giant wide beacon of light as high as we can imagine, fanning out all around us, going all the way surrounding the whole earth. And it rains down God's white light of love on every single living creature. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis God's beautiful blue light of truth. God's truth fills our legs to the tips of our toes. God's blue light of truth fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ, and comes up into our hearts, giving our hearts not just love, but truth and wisdom. Comes up through our lungs with every breath. We inhale God's love and God's truth and circulate it through our bodies. God's blue light of truth comes up through our arms, to the tips of our fingers, and then it comes up through our throats, into our minds, giving us wisdom, discernment. And it goes out the tops of our heads, this wonderful blue light of truth, and it fans out in all directions, filling the surrounding the whole earth. And then God's blue light of truth rains down on every living creature. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, stay as long as we want, ask anything we want. But the one question we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? 